This video is sponsored by AppMaker. Hey everyone, welcome back to Educate WordPress, where we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to see how you can add a better comment section in your WordPress website. Let's get started. Now let's take a look at our current comment section. Now as you can see, it's a simple, really very minimalist comment section. And to be honest, it doesn't look really good or interactive. You got a normal form here and post and you can't, there's no security at all. There might be spammers who might want to post some link that you don't want your users to see or redirect to. So let's add a better comment section to our WordPress website. For that, we'll head over to WP Discuss plugin website. The website will be linked in the description. Make sure to check it out. So we're here on the website and click on download. It will download a zip file. Let's head over to dashboard, click on plugins, add new and click on upload plugin. Choose the downloaded file and click on install. Now while this installs, let's talk a bit about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Click on activate plugin. Now let's head over to settings, click on settings, now let's complete the installation. If you want to use the dark mode, click on dark mode, otherwise light mode. Now since our website is in light mode, we'll click on light mode and there are three layouts that you can choose from. This is the first one. The second one and the third one. Now the first one looks really good so we'll choose that. And click on next step. Now if you want to add comment bubble which is a bubble that will appear on your website along with your content that will redirect the users to the comment section. Now we don't want that and disable bubble live update as well. Click on next step. Now if you want to rate article rating you can do that but for now we'll disable it and click on finish installation. Click on start using WP Discuss. Now if you want to add Google reCAPTCHA, you can do that. There are other things. Let's set it up. Go to general settings. Now if you want to add WP Discuss on your home page, you will check mark this box. You will activate this radio button. But since I want comments only on the blog pages, I will disable this. Now this is important. Use WordPress native Ajax functions. Now there are two types of functions in WordPress. One is WordPress native and the other one which comes in the plugin. Now they both do the same job. But the difference is the Ajax function that comes in the plugin may or may not break your site. 
but that's not the case with WordPress native. On the other hand, the Ajax function that comes with the plugin would be much faster. Now it's your choice whether you want a reliable and don't want an issue. So you'll use WordPress native Ajax functions. Otherwise, if you want speed, you can use the Ajax functions that comes with the plugin. For now, we will use WordPress native Ajax functions. And all these boxes are checked. Make sure, make sure to let them be checked. And if you want to force HTTPS, click on this box. And we don't want to use WordPress date time format. Click on enable caching. This will be on by default. And click on save changes. Let's head over to Google recapture. If you want to enable Google recapture, you can do that. But you will have to register your domain with Google and obtain the site key and secret key. But I think that's an overkill for comment section on a blog. So we'll not use that. Now let's head over to comment form settings. Now if you want the comment to be collapsed or expanded, you can choose as per your need. And this is important. Make sure, make sure this enabled quick tags is disabled. What this means is in quick tags, a user will be able to use HTML tags. Now HTML tags can be used to add links or redirections to the website. They may be spammers or hackers who might affect the users using this link. Just make sure this is disabled. It's really important. Now you can change the comment author name length. I don't think anybody has a name of with 50 characters. So I'll drop that down to 20 and click on save changes. Click on user authentication and profile data. Now if you want to display logged in username and logout link, you can do that. Now there isn't much to change here. Let's head over to styles and colors. Now you can change style of your comment section. Now leave it as default. You can add custom CSS code as well. Now let's click on live commenting and notifications. Now as you can see, we've disabled the comment bubble. But if you want to enable it in a later date, you can do that here. Now what is live update? Whenever you add a comment, it takes a bit of time to add it on in the database of your WordPress and then show it up on the website for another user. But for now, we won't need live updating. Now let's head over to our website and see our comment section. Now, as you can see, this is our comment section and you can upvote or downvote a comment. You can share this comment and you can even add an image to this comment. Now, if you don't want a user to add an image to this comment, let's head over to this plugin again. Go to general settings once again. Click on comment, content and media. And you can disable it here.
disable all three checkboxes and click on save changes now that's it for this video thank you for watching like if you find this video and subscribe for more thank you